All right. Shall we begin? Hello, hello. Welcome to Quackalope. The wrong voice for the wrong video. Nah, darn it. <laughs> okay, that voice, for the record, <laughs> is for Dead Reckoning. We got a little confused. Ah. Wrong video, wrong okay. voice. Hello, hello. Welcome to Quackalope. That's uh, more age appropriate. Hello, welcome to Quackalope. Thank you for joining us. Today, we're playing Fort by one of my favorite publishers of all time. I think I've made no... I, I've, I've not hidden that fact from the audience. In fact, most of the people that are watching this channel discovered us through Oath and Root and Vast and now Fort. Fort. Uh, and I'm joined today with a moderate to, I'd say, major celebrity. Uh, someone who I'm honored to have in the studio who drove five hours down in order to spend a very romantic afternoon with me playing uh, playing board games board together, games. showing Let's off see. some things. Alex from Board Game Co. Indeed. It's been fun. Uh, Give people an excuse to go find out who you are, like link down below, but... Sure, I mean, long story short, if you haven't watched my stuff already, I play board games and I cover a lot of Kickstarters. And He's I terrible at promoting himself. He does incredible deep dives into board game conversational topics, whether those yes. are structure, structural elements that talk about the hobby and the industry as a whole, or deep dives into Kickstarter projects and whether or not they're worth backing as a investment Basically. and an analysis, or my favorite journey that you can experience by watching his content, the stuff that is transitioning in and out of his board game shelf, his personal library. That's that's the narrative that I am actually the most intrigued by. Honestly, my second video, my, 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 my channel started with a video of saying, hi everyone, and my second video was games leaving my collection. Hmm. And I thought that would be a segment that I never really did again. Just sure. an intro to having a conversation. But, but something I don't think enough people talk about is we get so caught up in the hype of the games we like that we don't talk about the games that are leaving and why. And sometimes sure. we need reminders as to we are flooded with amazing game content. In order to produce that type of content, though, I have to get rid of games, which I keep telling him. I keep telling him. It's not happening yet. All that being said, that is, that is not why you're here, although it should genuinely be. We are covering Fort. We're going to do a two-player gameplay of this. Uh, I have also done a full review of Fort, uh, right for you, wrong for you, our kind of personalized review structure. Uh, and a three-player gameplay as well that is either out or coming out. So you really like leader games. I do really so like leader games. Leader or letter? Leader. leader. I thought so. Leader games. Sure. Uh, I'll probably cut that part out. <laughs> I I do really like leader games. I again, I've made no I've made no qualms to the uh, to the negative. Uh, this is a good little game. Good little deck builder game. I don't I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm just gonna start with flavor text. Start with sure. <laughs> I feel like this introduction's been so all over the place. Should Let's try it. Let's try it one more time. Right, cool. What's the tone? I don't know. Cool. Fun. Fun. Fun's good. Just being. I'm cool with it. Uh, it I agree with you. Yeah. Really somber. Hello, the welcome to. I forgot what my phrase at the beginning is. Hello, the welcome to Quackalope. Thank you for joining us. Uh, today we are doing a two-player gameplay of Fort, a brand new small small box title from Leader Games, uh, which is currently, or was, unless it got completely sold out, currently available uh, for pre-order on their web store. Uh, I'm also joined today with uh, the charismatic, uh, handsome, well-spoken. Um, said so many awards so far. <laughs> just, yeah, he's, he's listed. I'm joined today. He, he talks so much. He's charismatic. He says all the things. I've, I'm joined today with a man who has words who, which I could describe him with. Alex from <laughs> Board Game Co. All that being said, we're really just going to give you an overview of this game, and then we're going to swing into the actual gameplay. And if you're interested in seeing someone who takes a different approach from what we do, uh, there's going to be a link to Board Game Co.'s channel uh, down in the description of this video, and possibly some of the first comments. You'll probably leave a comment or something sure, on this. Sure. Uh, he does deep dives and analysis into the board game industry and hobby as a whole. You do closer looks at... Uh, things like Kickstarters and whether or not it is a good investment both from the quality of production but then also kind of Can buying you sell and it if you don't like it buying and ring selling and and just all those all those yeah. other elements and so I really genuinely love your content because you take a more straight to the conver straight to the camera conversational and analytical approach to this industry that I'm a part of yeah. whereas I just do my very best to make things look pretty you do a pretty good job making I, things look pretty I've good. Gotta, uh, I've got to offset Jan somehow. <laughs> Actually, he's here. Jan's co-host because I needed needed those eyes. Uh, Fort, overview. This is Quackalo. It would not be a Quackalo video if I didn't find an excuse to either make up or read some flavor text. And luckily, 
leader games, I think, probably for me alone, alone, I would think, they've included an entire front cover of flavor text. You're a kid. And like many kids, you want to grow your circle of friends, grab a bunch of pizza and toys, and build the best fort. Naturally, by doing this cool stuff, you'll score victory points, and at the end of the game, the player with the most victory points is the winner. Fort is a deck building game with a twist. Your cards, <laughs> your cards not only, that's one behind the scenes thing that you won't get. I'm worse than, I'm, I stumble so often because my head gets ahead of my uh, reading. Your cards not only let you take actions on your own turn, but also let you follow the other player's actions on their turns. Will you devote yourself to your own passe? Passe, posse? Posse, I think. I think I'm actually right about this one and I get everything wrong. Posse, or copy what the other kids are doing. Keep an eye out though. If you don't actually use all the cards in your hand, the other players will get a chance to nab them. After all, if you don't play with your friends, why should they hang out with you anymore? So I'm not actually into flavor text and having played half a game of Fort so far, I think that is essential to read. It gives so much context yep. to what is happening without you knowing in an otherwise mechanically in this game. Mm. This is a is a deck builder ultimately. This is a game where you, you it's a classic deck, deck builder. Deck builder and hand management. Hand management. Yep. But one of the things that's most interesting about this game is that the cards you don't play on your turn, the cards that are left when your turn is over, go into your yard and are then bought or potentially bought by opposing players. Yeah. And while mechanically it doesn't necessarily, it's just a mechanic at the end of the day. Sure. The idea of if you don't play with your friends, other people might, is so amazing at demonstrating what is happening in this game. Why should it, they hang out with you? It is incredible. And I like, I like the descriptions of stuff, putting stuff in your chest or having your backpack full of pizza and toys, or the friends are just out in the yard. They're not up in the tree fort. They're not hanging out with you. They're just down there. So yeah. someone walks by and they invite them to come hang out. Yeah, it's, it's great. It's bound to happen to all of us sooner or later. That being said, let me give a run through of what we're trying to do and then let's swing into the gameplay pretty quickly. Sure. This isn't a teaching video, this is a demonstration and experience video. Uh, or in other words, a gameplay. In Fort, we are trying to trigger victory or trigger, in Fort, we are trying to trigger end game uh, in three different ways, three different potential ways. And at the end of the day, it is going to come down to victory points or more or less how you utilize your friends and your your coalition or your posse. Uh, posse, posse, posse. That one. I think. Yep, close enough. Uh, I still don't think I've gotten it right the seven times I've said it. How you're utilizing your circle of friends to score and, and influence those, uh, those victory points. The three ways you can start endgame are going to be leveling your fort up to level five, which is going to score you a lot of victory points in the process hitting or crossing 25 victory points, that'll be a trigger to end game, or cycling through this entire deck of cards over here, which this is a two to four player game. This victory condition typically happens more often with more Higher players, player whereas you know our odds might be more around this victory track or this, yeah. uh, this board here. Um, it's gonna come down to victory points. It'll be public facing ones that you have. It'll be ones that score on your board. Uh, it'll be potentially some secret rules, made up rules that you are able to pull once your fort is to level one uh, that are end game scoring or side objectives. Now those usually aren't enough or aren't quite enough to swing the game, but they're, they are a good balance and pressure point, right? Yeah. So we'll see, we'll see how they come into play. Uh, and you could also get the macaroni sculpture if you are the first to make it to, uh, to fort level five. We have our two best friends here. We have a stack of eight cards, which make up our starting hand. We have a general marketplace here, and we have our resources, which are going to be the pizza and the toys. Now, I feel like it is fair to say, because we have two of them set over to the sides here. Sure. This card right here is going to be the math. It is the iconography that deals with these cards, and they're doing a lot. These, these icons have full sentences beneath them describing what you're able to do. This is a little bit, this is a small box game that has a decent amount of, of weight and crunchiness to it when it comes to the way things chain together. Uh, and I, I appreciate that they made a box size insert card because you're gonna need to reference this. If, you, if this is your first time picking up the game um, or if you're watching our coverage to see if you're interested in it, uh, just know that iconography and figuring out the math and things that are inside of parentheses and the way things add together to score points or create resources um, this translation tool will be necessary for probably the first few games that you play. Yeah. That being said, uh, I'm gonna shuffle Bud and Rusty into my deck. 
I'm gonna flip over my board because there's another important element. More flavor. Did you forget about it? I did not. I actually. just discovered that this existed before we, like moments before we started filming. I had no idea this was here, and I'm so excited about it. Bud, this is these are my best friends. So get ready. Bud, Bud is always up for an adventure. Well, ever since his uncle gifted him some old aviator goggles last December, now you'll find Bud jogging down the lane, backpack rattling with plastic forks and expired cans of corn. Want to build a tent out of sticks, masking tape, and fitted bed sheets? Bud does. Give me one of yours. Oh, okay. I gotta know all of them. I, I gotta know who I was gonna say, with. the problem is if you're gonna go through all of them, there's literally all the boards. So. Well, we don't need the other, I, these are Some my ours. best friends. These are our best friends. Bitsy, well, is Bitsy. When Bitsy talks, you listen. What Bitsy wants, she makes. Part mad genius, part force of nature, Bitsy is the newest kid on the block, but the quickest to make an impression. Keep an eye out. I love this flavor text. All right, I'm doing Rusty as well. Go for it. Rusty, Rusty gets it done. Need dirt moved? Yup. Rocks tucked? No problem. You're welcome. It helps that his trusty companion, Big Honka, is always with him. With all the dirty work it does, though, no one really knows how Rusty has kept his truck so pristine all these years. Whenever someone asks about it, Rusty keeps his secrets to himself, flashing a toothy smile as bright and shiny as Honka's grill. I really like my friends. I got a good crew over here. You just, don't stand a chance. So I don't, I'm not as into flavor text, but I am into OCD, and if you've done both, that cap, always tilted just the right way. That coin, always coming up heads. Flippa thinks he's too cool for words and the neighborhood thinks so too. Well, half the neighborhood, or so. His coin is pure 30 karat gold, he'll tell you. So convinced of it that you'll just about believe him. I like it. I like my friends more though. That's why they're my best. They're your friends. They are my friends. So I'm gonna draw up five cards. I am the starting player. Sure. Hanging out over here. Uh, and let's see here. Do you wanna set your fourth level to zero? I'll consider it. I'll consider it. Not for long, though. Sure. Uh, turn summary up here at the top. Just like Leader Games games, this is one that fits into the family very well. Partially because of just the artwork and the quality and everything like that. But then also, they have a very nice turn order system. Uh, discard my yard. If I had anything left up here, it would go into my discard pile. Then play one card. You may add suits, and rivals may follow its public option by discarding one card of a matching suit. So on these cards, there's a top action and a bottom action. Uh, you can follow the top action, or anyone around the table could follow the top action. The bottom action is only for me. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to play... Ah, uh, here's the problem. If I play Bud, I get a good benefit, but you... Alright. I'm going to play Bud. Okay. That doesn't work. I'm not nope, playing Bud. I'm not playing Bud. I really thought about it. Alright. I'm playing Kitty. Kitty's going down. Kitty says, I'm going to gain one toy for okay. every glue that I have. And I'm going to go ahead and play Bud the wild card as a multiplier. Oh, playing in here. Let me move my... So you're playing it as glue? For it down. Yeah, so I'm playing I'm playing it as glue. So this is going to allow me to gain two toys. Now you could follow that, that top action if you would like. Okay. So I will go ahead and I will follow it, playing this card. Okay. Which means I get to follow the top action and I get... Uh, one glue, same card basically, yep. one glue times... We get one toy. One toy times the number of glue symbols. And then I'm going to do now my bottom I action. more than one card? You cannot. I cannot. No, roll. and your your lookout, which is permanent modifiers, do not modify Got with it. your follow actions. Okay. So then I'm going to do my bottom thing. So I can discard one toy to gain victory points for the number of glue that I have. I currently have two glue here because the wild card. So I will gain two victory points, which clearly means I'm off to an astounding lead and you should be concerned. Now, drafting, uh, I get to take one card, either from your yard or from the top up here, and right now, I'm just gonna take Rocket Boots. Uh, okay. It is going to go into my discard pile. All of the cards I didn't play, except for my best friend, because Rusty is gonna stick with me, him and his truck. Uh, so these are now available to you. I don't know why I'm, oh, I'm drawing a card to yep. add that to the public market. And then all done. And uh, now I draw up, back up to five cards. And that's important, making sure you draw up because I need cards to potentially follow your actions. Excellent. I'm gonna go ahead and play Flipper, and I'm just gonna go ahead and take two resources, and then I will discard or burn a card from my deck. I'm gonna trash a card. And I'm going to dictate that resource as a water gun, a skirt gun. Uh, that was the perfect one. I can't follow it. Yes, I knew it. 
Okay. That stinks. And then from there, I'm going to... It's because I had it up here, right? And there was... Oh, I just I just went with it. Why not? Mm. And then from there, I'm going to go ahead and trash this card, I believe. So this goes... Let's put the trash cards. Oh. Change them if you want. What did Doc do? I had to trash something. But anyways, actually, I don't think I actually had to trash. But I'm choosing to. And I'm going to go ahead and add these two to my yard. She, like, bent your Pokemon cards or something. And you're like, Doc, cards. get out of here. I was not thrilled with it. And then from there, I will acquire the scrappers. I'm going to force you into appreciating flavor text one I, way or another. In the right game, I certainly do. <laughs> this is the right game. This is a game all about friendship, about about. Well, about I, I rusty commented on how truck. I appreciated the flavor text illustrates the, the friends not being played with. <laughs> I, I just think it's you, funny because I, you, you and Jan both are like of the same mindset where it's like it's all right, it's it's, it's there, right. it's and I'm right. like it's the game. These, these pop back down to my discard pile. Uh, I've got my hand here. I'm going to play a card. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and play Bug. Bug is going to give me a pizza for every... Bug does, is not good for me. I'm not playing Bug. <sighs> what do I want to do? All right. I'm going to go ahead and play Scout. Scout is going to allow me to move a item from my stuff to my backpack okay. for every shovel. So I'm gonna add a modifier of a shovel. So I'm gonna take the private action, which adds two stuff. Then I'm gonna move two toys. I can only one, have one in there. One. Never mind, I'm not moving two, so I cannot play that extra modifier card. All right, you're gonna get a chance to take all of my friends. So I'm moving one into my pack. I gain, I still gain two though. Yes. So I moved one, still gain two. Uh, and the reason I can't have more in my pack is because it is my fort level plus one. Same with the lookout, yeah. fort level plus one. Um, and that's going to be it, which means my entire marketplace is just straight up full. Yeah, I look, I... There's a lot of cars, a lot of cars. It depends what you're going for. I was sick this week, so <laughs> all my friends... So in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and follow that action. You certainly can. So I get to also add one good to my pack. Now... Okay, okay, and I am I am in the marketplace for a friend. Now, Bitsy should not be in your Bitsy yard. Bitsy should not be in my yard. Because she's one of your best friends. I was going to take her if, uh, if you, look, if you don't appreciate Bitsy. Uh, I appreciate Bitsy. I've, I've read her whole bio and everything. It's not, it's not what she was telling me. Sarge is coming over here because he looks like a guy that could totally hang out with Rusty. And, uh, and Scout. Yeah. I think he'd have, trend here. I think he'd have a good time with us. All right. Okay. A new card comes out. I clear my yard. Ooh. We have Smoke. Smoke is a wild, which is helpful. Smoke is a wild, and smoke allows you to copy your right. opponent's backpack. Yep. And then from there, if you'd like to take your... I'll consider it. I will go ahead and take a... Yeah, I think I'm going to do this. I'm going to do tiny. I'm going to go ahead and take a good of my choice. Okay. I'll take a this one. Feel free to follow it. Um, I can't. Okay. Some reasonable enough. And then from there, I will go ahead and trash a card in your yard oh, in order stop. to get a thing. So I'm going to go ahead and add a pizza, and I'm going to trash from your yard. I believe I will trash Einstein. Einstein. He goes back home crying because someone who wasn't apparently I just don't like blue cards. Initially, in my friend group, came over and called him a bad name. That is sad. But over here, scuffed and then his scuffed his knee a little bit. You pushed him off his bike. At the end of my turn, I will take Dude. baby face. Whoa, not both. Just baby face. Mm. New card comes out, and it's your turn. All right. Into my discard pile. And I'm going to play Sarge. Sarge is going to give me... That's not the one I want to play. I keep doing that. I guess it's, that trend. Trend. it's a common trend. I guess that is the one I want to play. Subconsciously, you <sighs> want to play Sarge, but your, your strategy won't let you. <laughs> No, I'm playing Sarge. Sarge is going to give me a toy for uh, for every shovel that I have. I'm gonna play I'm gonna play Moose down here. He's gonna hang out with Sarge for a little while. So I'm gonna gain two toys, and I'm going to add one to my lookout um, for every shovel that I have as well. But I can only add one. And you know, here's what I'm thinking. This might not be this might not be a good plan strategically. I'm adding Bud. Bud's gonna head up to the tree fort. He's gonna hang out. 
So he's now, he's now manning the fort. Sure. So this, that wild, will modify literally anything. And this was the main action you did, correct? That was the main action I did. If you want to copy it, you certainly um, can. I think I will decline to copy it. Okay. Uh, Rusty's going down here. Punky's going up there, and I get to take one. I just, I just got rid. My, I just locked off one of my best friends. I really need some pizza. We're taking whoa, munch. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm taking munch. I want munch. Well, munch of munch. Well, he went out. He went. He went down to the local convenience friend. store to get some chocolate and stuff. I I bought him a Snickers bar along the way. How how nice of you. That was very nice of me. I'm gonna go ahead and take those. I'm gonna go ahead and play Babyface, and I'm going to augment that, which will let me take two of this resource. So I'm gonna go ahead and recruit two cards and take two blues. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna take the two blues, and I'm going to go ahead and recruit Punky and Smoke. Yeah. And those will go down here. And then for my hand, Flipper and Bitsy are my friends, so they stay there. And Tiny is all yours. Would you like Tiny. to follow? Uh, I'd love to follow. But you're not going to. I can't. And it's on to you, sir. My friends, uh, you still get to recruit. Oh, I do get to recruit. Mm -hmm. That's very kind of you. I believe I will take Dot. Ah, stop it. Dot I shouldn't looked have told very you. Cool. I shouldn't have told you. She's definitely. Oh well, to be fair, you got you got mm. Captain. Dot's the new kid on the block, though. Everyone wants to be your friend. All right. What can I actually do that benefits me? I have the I have so many abilities that give me toys, and toys are like the thing I don't need at all at the moment. I mean, from everything I hear, you never get rid of your toys. Well. This hand is is clearly displaying that. <sighs> Alright. I'm gonna play Kitty. I can currently not take the top action, but I should be able to after I fully take the bottom action. So I'm adding this uh, to modify the bottom action. I'm getting rid of a toy to gain victory points for every... Uh, and I have three total. So one, two, three. And then... I gain a cube for glue, and I can only gain one to fill that up. Seems legit. You can follow that top action if you'd like. Um, I, I believe I will. I'm going to go ahead and play that to gain one. Okay. One glue, you said? One. Oh, I can't gain glue. Never mind. You toy. Toy. Yeah. Okay, take toy. All right. Um, so here's the thing. Yes, sir. Uh, Sarge, you like Sarge. And you like Scout. You should play with Sarge and Scout more often. And Rocket Bros. <laughs> well, this is a tempting turn. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, on my turn, I am going to... I believe I will do this. I'm going to go ahead and do Dot, who I think is pretty awesome, honestly. The point yeah. I'm going to give up a lot of my cards to my yard. Oh, Tiny goes to my discard. I'm playing Dot. I'm going to up my fort by one level, paying any two... Oh, did I recruit? Course. Did you recruit? Oh, you did not recruit. Let's, let's redo that. That's fine, I'm just, I'll take Skid. Then I'll do my turn. I'm playing Dot. I'm going to do the top action and do both two toys. I'm gonna to return two toys to do my first level, which I believe gives me a made up rules, right? It does, and I am- Well, you go ahead and follow, if you so choose. I can't follow you. Are there supposed to be only three of these? Uh-huh. I can't follow you. That's, that's a shame. It's really a shame, considering forts right now would be very useful. That is, that is horrible. You could go up by two. Yeah. I, oh, I know that. I'm aware of that part. That okay. was happening either way. And so for my second action, I will now go up for two, mm -hmm. paying one less, so I only pay two resources, and I will give up both of these to go up a second level, which I believe gives me a perk card. Seems legit? Mm-hmm. Okay. It does. And you can go ahead and take your turn. Well, I'll go ahead and grab a card, and then you can take your turn. And I'm... I'm torn because your cards are useful, but I don't know if they fit my strategy right now. I think I am more inclined to grab Captain. I'll grab Captain. And then it's your turn. And okay. I have to grab a perk. Ooh, Noodle Twins. Hello, Noodle Twins. All right. These are all adding to my discard pile down here. I'm going to play Moose. Moose is going to add a card to my lookout 
for every shovel. And I think, I think I'm gonna go ahead and modify this. I forgot to put the cards in my yard. In case you want any of those. Ooh. Yes, lots of fun stuff. Okay. I'm gonna modify this so, oh, I can't. I can't, I can't add more than, all right. Fort plus one, paying a cost of two to do that. Up here to the top action, adding one to my lookout for fort level plus one, so I can add one over here. I think I'm gonna add in Rusty. So both of my best friends are now in my fort. I think that might be a bad strategy. It's an interesting <laughs> strategy, but I, it's kind of fun to try. And then who am I recruiting? I mean, who else would you have in your fort if not for your best friends? It's true. It's true, I have a good set of friends there. Who do I actually... I'm gonna take Doc. Doc is a fun little guy. Okay. And what is joining your yard? I know. Uh, Prince is joining, my, is joining my yard. Bug is joining my yard. And Munch is joining Munch, my yard. Bunch of Munch. I'm gonna go ahead and do this action, which is a lot of fun for me. Holy. I take four resources and recruit four no. cards. No. Yes. That is such a heavy deck. It is a heavy, heavy deck. I'm going hard Five hard total for this turn. Yes. Okay. So, although it might clog my deck, but we'll see how that plays out. That's the problem with this strategy. So I think I will grab the Needle Twins first. And uh -huh. the cards come out one at a time, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. From there, I will take... Ooh, it's hard. It's hard, it's hard, it's hard. Um, I like the idea of trashing things. I don't know if I need this as so much. So you're right now throwing a party. I'm throwing a party. I'm throwing like you got party. lights outside, parents mailed invitations to all the other neighbors. That's two. Uh -huh. I will take Dash. That's three. Mm -hmm. I will take Chef. That's four. Mm -hmm. And then for five, I will take Bones. That is a lot of stuff in my deck. And then your turn. Oh wait, this went to my discard pile. And there you go. <laughs> Giggles is available. Hello, Giggles. Hey there, buddy. I'm gonna play this scout, who's going to allow me to add one to my backpack for every shovel I have. Okay. Shovel's already maxed out. Backpack's already maxed out, though. So I can only do one. I'm gonna gain two. I'm gonna add one down here. Again, I have all the toys. All the toys I need. I have no pizza. It's a shame. Oh, man. All right, there's all the friends. You're okay. Well, if that's the way you really feel about it. I am going to have. Oh, I need to recruit as well. I'll recruit Golden Boy. Golden Boy sounds like an excellent friend to have. You're okay. I will go ahead and play Captain Unmodified, and I get to upgrade my fort, which I will do by paying two, two, and I will do another one of these because I have to. That will let me upgrade my fort. I legitimately can't follow you. I'm, I've been doing fairly well with that, this game. I'm literally falling apart right now. It's, it's a shame, it's a shame. And then I get to take a copy of your goods to my backpack, to my stuff. Mm-hmm. And that's my turn. And then I will choose, this goes to my discard. I get to buy a card. And do I have any best friends? I have two best friends over here. These two cards will be added to my yard. So there are two cards, a very tempting one over here, I'll point out. Just so you're aware. Why did I send my best friends to my lookout? Uh, they your best. They are your best friends. I don't know what goes on in your strategy, in your decisions that you make. But for right now, I think I will. Oh, take, have you recruited? Sorry. I think I'm gonna take Patch. <sighs> All right. I still have nothing that'll give me pizza. This is a real issue. It's, <laughs> how about you need pizza? Oh, you need pizza to upgrade your fork. Yeah, this ah, is like a I see horrible. The and there's nothing that gives you pizza? No, because I, my best friends gave me anything. And now I, my deck is entirely built around uh, <laughs> around getting getting a lot getting of toys. Lots of toys, nothing else. I have, shame. I have one good friend who's, whose mom owns like a toy shop. I so just, we have all the Hot Wheels we need, Legos galore, no food. It. I was supposed to bring the pizza, I forgot it. Failed. Look, I, I brought my lunch money, but it was two fifty, and turns out Domino's is slightly more expensive than that. What am I gonna do? 
What am I gonna do? I mean, let's do this. This can go down. I will point out, Tiny gives you goods of your choice. Yeah. Good to know. Thank you. If you're looking for the pizza symbol, I am. Pizza. I am. Kitty's going down. I can gain one toy at the top. Then I'm going to spend a toy to gain victory points per glue, so three. Okay. Mm -hmm. These are going to be public. And yeah, I'm going to take Tiny. Seems legit. Okay. That's a turn. On my turn. Ooh. Hood in. Hood in. That is card. hard, man. Good news for you is I actually don't want that right now. I want, not that one. I want something else more, I should say. Okay, so my cards go down to my yard. And I will go ahead and play my own tiny. Which will be, I believe I'm playing tiny. Yes, I am. Okay. Or no. No, no, no. I don't care about trashing your yard. I care about, I'd much rather do this. I'm going to play this, which I believe you don't get to follow. Because I'm only doing the top bottom action. And I get goods times the number of what's it called, which I'm going to take to be pizza. It's like yourself, I've been having a pizza issue. So I'll put it down there. And then from there, mm. I will take, mm. I think I want Prince. I have a bad feeling about this gameplay. Oh, it's, it's, it's okay, you won the last one, I get, I get one. Uh, <laughs> Your turn. All right. I might be able to generate pizza this time though, which is remarkable. And I will. Bug coming in clutch, generating three pizza for me. And then victory points for fort level, so gain one. Y'all are discarded. Y'all are going up here. And uh, let's take, let's take, let's take Puddin'. You okay. All right, that's my the card. thing. Yes, sir. My cards go to my yard. A new card comes out. Thank you. You have a whole bunch of cards in your yard. Thunder. Which thunder is, is a favorite of thunder. mine. Thunder. Ring the thunder. I'm gonna play thunder. these cards. Mm -hmm. Two trash. Two. I get to trash two cards and get two points, which is my first points. Where's your point mark over here? Yep. I get two points. My first. My first. I mean, again, decks aside, you're winning on points there. Although I guess I have these four points. So I get two points after I trash two cards. I will trash these two cards. And then I will take you, my you choice. You cycle through friends like you cycle through board games. <laughs> and then this one goes over here to be All available right. to purchase. All and right. then I get a card. I get a card. I do. Um, which card do I want? You got basically anything you could I ever know, want. I you know, know, I know. Your pick of friends. I'm inclined to take Doc. You just, your parents just got a brand new TV. Everyone wants to come over to the house. Yep. All right. Discarding down. What is going to let me increase my fort level? Well, a card that has a fort icon would be a good start. You're not wrong. Skids is going to do it for me. Ooh, nice. Top action, move something to my backpack for a skateboard. You get two. Uh, I will be able to move only one thing, though, because I'm increasing my fort level. One, one, two. And then I'll move one thing because it is fort level plus one. Gotcha. You can follow if you'd like. Just to be clear, why couldn't you move another? You can move two things? Well, I already have three in it. Okay. Fort level is two gotcha. plus one. Uh, am I going to follow? It's an excellent question. Move something to your backpack times the number of symbols you have. That is an interesting one. Give me one second here to look at my hand. Um, I will go ahead and follow. I'm going to move ahead and move one of these, I believe. Yep, I'll move one of these to my backpack. Okay. Okay. My turn? Yes, sir. Oh, oh, I need to recruit. Okay. Oh, sorry, a little boss is available. Mm. Until your turn's done. Let's take Ghost. Ghost has been tempting me ever since he came out. Ooh, put it again. The problem There's two of them is... in there. There's always other cards I wanted instead of Ghost, which is a problem. Okay. I believe for lack of anything. You know, he's felt that way his, most of his life at this point. He's it's six. He's it's six. It's, really, it's, it's hard. It's been hard. It's very hard. Okay. I think I need to do this at this point because I'm just not getting the love I want. I'm going to go ahead and do this over here. I get one good. I can do this in any order I want, correct? 
So I'm gonna go ahead and put this to my port over here. Okay. And then I'm going to times the number of souls I have, and then I'm going to take a good for each resource on my lookout. So I will take a pizza. And I believe it's your turn to follow the top one, but you can take two goods if you have a shovel. Yeah. I think I will. See this shit. So shovel. Okay. Take a good for every card. Two. And then Warm goes to my discard, Pitsy as my best friend goes to my discard, and Doodles is available, and I will acquire put in. Okay. Your turn. Alright. On to me. Let's lean into. Let's lean into getting some toys here. Kitty's gonna be played again. Uh, gonna be only a value of two right now. Be able to gain two toys. I'll spend one of those toys to go ahead and do the bottom action. Okay. VP times two, so from nine to 11. You can follow that top if you'd like. Uh, follow the top. I don't know one times. Yeah, I'll go ahead and follow it. All right, I'll take one blue. Okay, and who? I think I'm gonna take Doodles from you. How dare you, sir? Doodles is a valued friend. Beginning my turn then, in that case, I'm gonna go ahead and play Captain. I get to increase my fort. Oh, Captain, I'm my Captain. Three of these, plus three of these. And that will go straight to over here. Can I do it, can I do it, can I can do it? Can you follow it? You tell me. You can follow it, Absolutely. great. Absolutely, Hooden is following. Okay. Two, two and three, clearing the house, moving up to three. Oh, and I didn't take my bonus, so let's see, I'll grab uh, I'll grab bribe. And then for my second action, I'm going to go ahead and use Captain's adding a copy of your fort, of your backpack, to my pack, to my stuff. Mm. Which is very helpful. Mm -hmm. And then it is your turn, but let me show you what's coming out here, because you have some prime friends of mine. Who did you recruit? With. I did not recruit. I will certainly recruit. I like Bug, given the fact he gives you points for your level of your fort. Seems like a relevant thing when I'm actually still not taking Ghost. Nope, nope. It's, it's, I mean, this bug gives you points for my fort level. That's a big deal right now. All right, we're doing. We're gonna do bug again. Okay. One you just took. Pizza for shovels, three shovels, three pizzas. And victory points for fort level. Uh, level three, so three victory points. You can follow that top action if you'd like. Um, uh, times the number of shovels. I will decline. Okay. Marketplace, Skid, Munch, and Kitty. Yeah, okay. That's a lot of fun stuff there. Question is, what do I have that's more fun? I don't know if anything is more fun. I'm getting a little overwhelmed with my deck at this point. You got a, um, you have, you have a pretty... I have a big deck, because I did a lot of recruiting with yeah. that, that thing, which was fun, don't get me wrong. I think I'm going to go ahead and do Dot, um, and I'm going to go ahead and build my fort at a discount of one. So, I'm gonna go ahead and trigger one, two, three. You just finished it. I finished that. I triggered endgame. Endgame, okay. you hit five. Yep, and then I hit these three, <sighs> and that is my fort built at a discount of one. You can follow the top action. Yeah. And you get the macaroni crown. Uh, can I do it if I follow it? I can, actually. So I'm gonna follow it. Three and three. Chunk of points. I don't know if I won. I'm curious. I don't know, actually, now I'm looking at this. A pretty big gap up there. I got ahead. I got ahead. Back with the sculpture will help. And your secret objective. Okay, that's so that that's end game. Because I was first player. Okay. That Let's quick. see. Okay. Let's see how this went. I believe I have 23 points. Plus four is 27. I get nothing for my made up card because I did not achieve that. So I have 27. Plus up there is two. I have 29. Anything else I'm missing? Uh, from your you didn't achieve your made up card at all. No, sadly. So you're up to 29 points? Yep. Or that 29 plus. 29 total. 29 total. So I add 16 to the 14 I have. Putting you at 30? Putting me at and 30. And objective card too? At the end of the game, score one for each different suit I have, except wild. If I have all six suits, score an extra one. Yeah, I should have taken that one. So I'm going up to 35, because I should have five of the... Uh... So I think this is the second time today, just to be clear. 
when we have played a deck building game where I clearly had the more intimidating engine, and yet I lost. I will note that I my thought, wife... I totally thought I'd lost this. My wife is a huge fan of continuously making fun of the fact that whenever we play Dominion, mm -hmm. every single time I have this intimidating engine where I'm like, draw three cards, do this, do that, sure. do that. And she's like, I'll buy gold and I'll win. Every time. I like the engines. You know how to you know how to get the puzzle. Although you did something, we both did weird experiments this time because I think we played standard last time. Yes. You have such a heavy deck. I and in a two-player game, this does this already starts to get heavy. Yes. Because there's less buying of your cards, less appeal. Less there's other. less. It's it's the marketplace is shuffling a lot less. Um, and then I did something weird. Is I added my best friends to my lookout. Yeah. Which really hampered my mid game, I had a huge, but I was able to work around it. Yeah, I, I had a great engine builder. Honestly, I was hoping that you just didn't have the ability to build at the end. If I'd not been able to follow that, that was game. Won. Yeah, yeah, that's a big deal. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I've this. You've played once on TTS. Yes. This is the first time you've played in person. Yes. Um, and you are known across the board on your channel for being honest. Honest. Uh, so. you know, no, I am too. <laughs> but I, no, I, but I, I also make things look really pretty. I have so, a reputation for I wouldn't even say honest so much. I would say I'm critical. both honest and critical. Yeah. I, I have so I'm so constantly so often people are focused about the value of a game, which is true. Games sure. have value. Sure. I'm often focused on what value does it add to my collection. What where does it fit there? And I'm on the fence about this one. I, I want to play it again. I want to acquire it. I want to see how it plays mm -hmm. over multiple plays. I am uncertain whether it would stay. Now offhand from the two plays, I would say tabletop simulator is a horrible interface for this game. This game is fast-paced and moving quickly and on Tabletop Simulator. Right okay. now, I don't believe the Tabletop Simulator is, is public. Oh, good. It was it was sent to me as a for a review so I could play with my, because sure. I'm working on a full review, and what I asked was I wanted access so I could play with my Patreon, my Discord, get feedback from my community sure. for the review. So, Makes sense. for context. Makes sense. In person, I liked it a lot more. Yep. But I do think that the, it felt it didn't feel like when I laid down a hand of good cards mm. that I was that worried about what would be taken. Sometimes, once in a while, I was. So rarely. So this is what this is. The, I've played primarily three and four players. Okay. Um, this is actually the first time I've had a two-player experience with it. And let me give you context for that. I agree with you. Yeah. Um, at two-player, you might lose a card or two here, but your deck is already getting so heavy, and there's enough in the marketplace that. I'm not as scared yeah. losing a card. There was a time or two where I thought you might take it, but your strategy apparently didn't fit into didn't, what I had yeah. anyway. Um, and I did take a card or two from you that... Didn't mind them. Once or twice. They were specifically for scoring, which was yep. what I was doing, so it did help me. Three and four players, um, it is it is better in person than it is on TTS. Um, and three and four players, you do have a lot more cycling and a lot more interaction with yes. the with the board state. Which, by the way, is why I'm saying I, I do want it. Between my yeah. tabletop play, my, table, my TTS play, and this play, the combination of the two, I think, was a good You got game. a sense of what the game could be. I got a sense do. of what a three or four player yeah. game was like, and I got a sense of what the game was like in person. Mm -hmm. When I combine them, I'm intrigued. Mm. The two separately, unsure. I would, I would, this is a game that I would happily get. I don't know whether it would stay in my collection. It's a game that I question the longevity of for my own collection. Mm -hmm. Versus, but I but I did enjoy it enough to be intrigued enough to get it. Yep. Uh, the interesting thing for me is the production quality on this is way higher than the price. And you mentioned it when we first pulled it out. Yeah, as soon as we pulled this out, um, these are these are like I mean dual layer player boards on a non Kickstarter yeah. small box game that totally did not have to go to this level at all to do that. I pulled this out and I was just, I was blown away because, specifically because this is a deluxified component. Yep. And it's in a small box game, which is just weird. And all these little, like, screen printed wooden pieces. Yeah. Like, they didn't do just plastic token pieces. And, they and did. You commented on, like, the giant player aids, not the little cards. Giant player aids. Interesting enough, we didn't reference this that uh, that much. So, We're getting more comfortable with it. I was going to say, uh, you, at the beginning of the, the game, you mentioned that you might need a few plays under your belt. And yep. I have literally half a play under my belt. On TTS. On TTS. And, and then this. And I think I glanced at this one time for one symbol. While I will say the symbology, I am not the biggest fan of. Yep. I think it's, I don't know if I could, I don't even want to say it could be better because I'm not a graphic design person. I will just say, forgetting whether what it could have been, I wasn't a huge fan of some of these symbols. They didn't feel intuitive. But half a play later, I was already prepped. Yeah, I, it is not so complicated that you can't figure it out. But I think the first play, there's definitely some that just don't translate as well as, as and again, I don't know how to make them better. Yeah. Uh, genuinely. Yeah. But they're I trying. They're trying to do a lot. So they are. They are some yeah. that are confusing, or some that I don't utilize enough throughout a course of a single play. That when right. I see them pull back up, like I, I think I did reference. Uh, I did glance at like trash a card. 
Yeah. Um, or for me, it was trash a card in a player's yard I looked at. But yeah, yeah and, but that is the most complicated version. Yes, of them. exactly. Uh, for me, the two-player experience with this is good. It is a solid two-player yeah. game as far as my impression goes. However, the charm of this game, the thing, the reason why I advocate for this game when I'm telling people about it is the interaction between your yards. I like, yes. I like that the hand management and the play between different players um, is dynamic and interesting. What, what I can say, and you can go watch this for yourself, the three-player game I had uh, with two other friends, that interaction is a lot more critical. Um, and, and that can be displayed in experience when it comes to that version of the gameplay. Mm -hmm. um, I thought this was fun at two players. I think it shines at three and four. I would never turn so. down a two-player game, but judging yep. on that alone, I wouldn't get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's fair. Yeah. Uh, either way, whatever the case, thank you for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this other gameplay of Fort Board Game Co. Thank you for, uh, or Alex, I suppose, if I'm going to use your real name. Yeah, those things. Thank you for being around. Uh, super glad that we were able to come down and play. And whatever happens, remember to do the important You're thing. so close. So close. You're so close. I, I, I mean, wanted to, like, jump end, in. Yeah, I, jump I in appreciate that. So, Jan does this as well. Jan messes this up as well. That I'm a good company. Well, possibly. Here's the thing. The whole point of the end phrase, and it, it just came about organically sure. for me, which is why it's easier for me. Sure. But it's always whatever you do. Whatever you do. So the the lead off of whatever you do usually oh starts, because when you get to the end of the video, you say, thank you for watching. Leave a comment down below talking about what you're interested in, if you're going to pick this game up, if you've already placed a pre or if you're a big fan of us because of Bleeder, how you discovered us, anything like that. Okay. Hit that subscribe button, stuff like that. Support the Patreon, specifically his, stuff like that. And then you his, and then his. you go, whatever you do though, because all of that, those that's my call to action, but all of that doesn't matter as much as get out and play some games. Which I agree with. I and then with. we'll see you next time. Just a reminder, letting you know that I'm gonna be here. And then I say thank Playing you. Games. And then I say thank you. Because it's important. I mean you're part of the conversation. What's the end of every video? Yeah. And it, I mean it. So thank you. Thank you.